Is my dog's leg broken? Why is my dog limping? Have you noticed that as your dog tries to walk, they seem to be struggling with a limp? You may wonder to yourself, what could be causing them to be limping? In this GenX Pets video, we will be looking at some possible reasons why your dog may be limping, including the fact that their leg may indeed be broken. Now, without further delay, let us begin by finding out how do I know if my dog's leg is broken or simply just hurt? A few signs that your dog's leg might be broken include excruciating pain or a swelling at the spot of the fracture. If your dog is willing to walk, he won't put any pressure on that leg at all, but will carry it above the ground, usually with a limp. The next question on your mind may be, can a dog's broken leg heal on its own? It is never wise to allow a dog's broken leg to heal untreated or without the supervision of a vet. While a broken bone does naturally heal on its own, it may not heal properly if left unsupervised. So you have done your checks and have ruled out a broken leg. So the next question on your mind may be, why is my dog limping? We will be outlining seven possible reasons why your dog may be limping. One. Injuries. Various types of injuries can lead to your dog limping. Some of these might include ligament tears, sprains, fractures, or even dislocations. All of these can cause moderate to severe limping. 2. Overexertion of muscles. Contrary to popular belief, your dog can indeed put too much exertion on their muscles, which can lead to limping. For example, if you played a vigorous game of fetch, your dog could be tired or have an overstretched muscle. It should recover in about 24 hours or so. If it does not, you should see a vet as soon as possible as this may be a sign of more serious joint or muscle problems. 3. Issues with their claws. Your dog's claws may be ailing them, thus leading to limping. If your dog does not walk on rough surfaces such as pavements very often, their claws won't get worn down or they may get broken altogether. These claws may be piercing into your dog's skin, which is super painful. Keep your dog's nails trimmed and walk them regularly to avoid this issue. 4. Aging As your dog gets older, their bones begin to weaken and their muscles become stiff. Do regular checks with your vet to see if your canine friend is suffering from osteoarthritis. 5. Knee problems. Dogs often experience a medical luxating patella, which is caused by the kneecap becoming loose in the groove and then moving altogether. This can result in an ACL rupture. When the knee is partially or completely torn or the cap is displaced, it can cause excruciating pain and discomfort for your dog, leading to limping. 6. Paw injury or tenderness. Anything foreign to your dog's paw such as nails, grass, or thorns can injure them and cause major discomfort. The same is also true of frostbite or burns. This makes it uncomfortable for your dog to walk properly and can lead to an infection. If you notice your dog licking their paw a lot, there may be something wrong with their paw. 7. Joint Infections Infections such as Lyme disease can also cause joint pain and limping. Dogs may develop Lyme disease from the bite of a black leg tick, which may transmit bacteria. Your dog will become sick, become feverish, and lame in one or more joints. Be sure to have your dog on an effective tick preventative treatment to avoid this issue. So, what have we looked at today? We looked at a few reasons why your dog may be limping, including if they may have a broken leg. Share with us your experiences of your dog limping and how you went about assisting them. Drop a like if you found value from this video and subscribe for more pet videos in the future. Thanks for watching and we hope you will join us next time for another exciting video in the world of pets.